Hey guys, so I figured that while I'm in the process of recording a bunch of videos, I might as well do this one as well. And so this is going to be how to set up a slider function for flaps on your DX6i. Now for those of you who use flaps on the DX6i, you know that it's just single position. You got flaps up or flaps down. And you can maybe set up a three position flaps with the gear mix and you can find plenty of videos of that online. But You've probably seen other bigger, better radios that have sliders, and sliders are these nice little things that you can slide them and proportionally set what rate of um, deployment your servo's at. And so if you want to set half servo, you can slide the slider manually using your finger, and it's usually on the back here. And it's just, it's really nice because you can control it without having a set, um, rate of deployment on the switch. And so anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a flap, um, a flap, I guess you could call it a mix, but I'm going to show you guys how to f set up a slider function for your flaps on the DX6i, and obviously there aren't any sliders on here. Um, so here we go, we're going to go to, and I'm, I'm using the slider function on my carbon cub with the flaps, so we're going to go to the carbon cub. I'm just going to zoom in here really quick. Okay. Selected. Um, main, yeah, carbon cover, everything. So now you want to go into... So from the, from the main list, start with flaps up. From the main list, you want to enter your menu, which is vertical press of the scroll button, and scroll down to flaps and enter that. Um, I just have up set at 99, just so you don't overdrive the server or anything. Good idea with the micro servos, with, with the linear servos, to set the full rate at 99 or 98, just so that there's no risk of overdriving the servo, because the way that the, the linear servos work is they actually depend on a contact strip to tell the servo arm when to stop. And so if you get it past that contact strip, you've overdriven the servo, and that can damage the brushes because it's no longer on the nice little shiny contact strip. And anyways, it's a good idea with the linear servos to set the full extension rate at 99 or 98, not at 100. So quick tip there. Um, but moving on, right now flaps are up. And flaps are up, that's set 99 up, which is pretty much all the way. I mean, there, there's really no noticeable difference. If you look at the carbon cub over there, that is 99% that is up. So there, there's really no difference when you're actually looking at it. So back here, we've got um, we've got 99% up, and you don't need any elevator when you're flying with flaps. Quick tip: you can actually do it if you deploy the flaps at a slow enough rate, or if you're going slow enough, if you, if your airspeed's slow enough, you can do the flaps, and it won't cause the ballooning effect. And there's a lot of detailed coverage of this on RC groups. I'm not going to take the time to explain it now because you can find it online if you need to. Um, so moving down to landing flaps, and this is where the slider function comes in, but you want to keep the mix open. And so then, when, and you see the, the little arrows indicating you're on landing flaps, so then when you flip down into landing mode, you can have this. And right now, it's at down all the way, but you can use this, you can use the scroll selector, as your slider. And so if you want to go from, let's say, so this is going to be all the way up flaps and keeping it at 99, but you can start at all, at all the way up flaps and let's say that you want to move from just normal to not normal, but then you can go down and that slider function will work as a slider on your actual flap deployment. So this is a really simple way to have a slider function on your DX6i, and you just keep the mix open. And if you don't, don't have enough time to scroll all the way back to, let's say that you're at flaps all the way deployed, and you need to really get out of a situation and just punch the, the throttle, you don't really have the time to scroll all the way back, but what I've found is that you can actually flip the flap switch up to what you've got set as 99% up, and it will work, and it'll just... Ignore what you've got set here, and it'll go all the way up. And so, there's a failsafe built in, and you can also 
really finely select what your flap settings at. So if you want to go all the way up, you can do that. If you want to go, let's say, I don't know what that is. That's that's half flaps right there. But if you want to go half flaps, you can do that. It's really really cool how you can set up that function just through through the mix menu. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that in practice. And so I'm going to grab the carbon cub, let it initialize. Dun dun. Da -da -dun just like that. And that's how you know that everything is armed. And it won't do that little dud it up because the last three beeps indicate that the motor and the ESC is armed. And so if you don't hear that little beep, you need to lower the throttle. Um, so now we're just going to shove it all back in there and make it look nice. But the main thing that we want to concentrate on here is the flaps and functional control check just because you should always do a functional control check. And so if I go, if I flip, so right now the flaps are set to the position that we have set on here, which is 99% up. And so now if I flip the flap switch, it's going to give me that 50%. And now, it's not paying any attention to what I've got set here. It's going to pay attention to this open mix. And so now this acts as a slider. And you can see as I scroll through, it's giving me that sliding function. So even though it may not be efficient as a slider, where you can just, with one turn of your finger, get 100% flaps, this really gives you a very fine selection rate. So if you want just, let's say, like a little, little bit of flaps, you can just scroll the tiniest bit down, and there you go, you've got just a little bit of flaps. Or if you want to go all the way down, you can just scroll it through. And what the gradual deployment of the flaps does is the gradual deployment helps with the adjustment, I guess you could say, of the airfoil. And so if you're going slow and you instantly deploy the flaps and it's 100% instant, it's going to have a more adverse effect on the airfoil than slowly introducing the flaps. So, and then, once again, I'm going to demonstrate the feature. So you've got flaps all the way down here. Flaps 100% down. And, oh no, you need to get out of the situation. Boom. All the way back up. And then you can flip it back down. And you're into single flaps again. And the nice thing is that even if you really need to go up fast, and you don't want to come back down into like up, up the like let's say you're at a hundred percent deployment before but let's say that you go up because you're in a panic situation and you don't want to flip the flap switch and come back down into a hundred percent flaps you can set this rate while the flap is set to the up position and so that way when you put it back down it goes back to this position and then you can scroll it so the nice thing is is that you've got a failsafe built in and it's a really really easy way to have a slider feature on a pretty cheap radio and I mean there there's so much that you can get out of this but you know obviously you can get like a really good slider function if you go for like a DX18 or a DX9 but this if you got a DX6i if you want a slider function if you want to have really precise control over your flaps and I'm sure that you can set it up for the, for the gear switch too I just haven't figured out yet because I don't have a plane that really utilizes the six channel to the extent that I need to set up the uh, slider function on it, but this is a great way to have a slider function for your flaps, you know, just without having to get a better radio. So yeah. If you guys have any questions about this, if you guys have any special requests for how to do programming in the future, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to oblige, and happy flying!